Welcome back everybody. In today's video, I have amazing news because the criminal known as Joey Surreal Camera got his channel terminated by YouTube. So first, we're going to take a look at all the evidence regarding that. And then we'll take a look at a hilarious video of J-Town Press getting removed from the VA hospital. Without further ado, enjoy the video. So Joey Surreal has three channels. There is Justice For All, there is Jay Surreal Camera, and there is Surreal Cam. But when you try to look up Surreal Cam, nothing comes up, only his other channels. Now, usually this is where the trail would end and we would be left with questions. But if you have the link to a video that used to be on that channel, you can find out exactly what happened. And luckily, someone sent me the video of him getting arrested not too long ago. So I clicked on the link and this is what popped up. It reads, video unavailable. This video is no longer available because the YouTube account associated with this video has been terminated. So this is pretty significant news. It's been a while since there was a fraud editor channel that got completely terminated. Last time it was the nonce in the UK who was recording kids, extremely creepy guy. He got his whole channel nuked. And now it's Joey Surreal Camera, a well-established fraud editor in the fraud editor community. So we could speculate to think about what may have happened, but this guy breaks so many conditions in the terms of service that I wouldn't even know where to start. Did he record kids? Did he harass people? We know he does all of the above. So it could be any of those reasons. Would it be because of the hatred towards police? That would be a first, but you never know. So I don't really know why it got terminated, but I know for a fact that it did happen. Now, another thing that might complicate Joey's life is that usually when you get one account terminated, you get all your accounts terminated. So maybe YouTube is unaware that he's still running Justice For All and he's still running J Surreal Camera, but if they were to find out, he could lose those accounts as well. So that is fantastic news. That's the breaking news of the day. It's pretty hilarious to see a frauditor lose his harassment channel YouTube did a great job on this one and hopefully more will follow because these guys are breaking the terms of service left and right. Targeted harassment, off-platform harassment, recording minors, they do all of the above and it's great that they're finally getting some retribution. Now let's move on to the video I wanted to talk about in the first place before I heard this news. It's a video from J-Town Press where she gets removed from the VA hospital. Absolutely hilarious. Without further ado, let's check this out. Looks like there's two floors. Oh, wow. Oh, that AC feels so good. So here's the general. These are bathrooms over here. This is just the, uh, looks like the health decks and it looks like the uh, security. Is it, they're also obviously like red team primary care, the pharmacy. Let's see what they see in here. No, this is. What's that? You gotta that down. I can't understand you. You have to turn that off. Why is that? Is this, a pub, is this a open to the public? No, 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 no. no. This is a federal building. You have to have authorization for that. It, what's, yeah. the, what's the USC code? You am asking you to turn it off. Uh, you're asking me, so yeah. I'm going to politely decline. Let's go to the administration and have that uh, well, turn. Are you detaining me? Huh? Are you detaining me? No, I'm not detaining so Let's go to administration uh, okay, well, and let us have, let, let us do this. Uh, you can go ahead and find out for yourself. I don't need to go. What is do you have credentials on you? Are you with the media credentials? or anything? Credentials? What, 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 Are uh, you with the media or anything? I am. I'm an independent journalist. Well, you just can't. Well, you got to get authorization now to walk uh, around with the camera. Then you go ahead and get it. What's the, what, what, am I, what law am I breaking? Well, it's the federal bill. So am I being detained? No, you're not. Okay. I'm just asking you to come to me down this question and then you have to Evaluation clinic? Hello, ma'am. 
That's not allowed. Why is that? Because it's illegal in there. How? What, what law am I breaking? Huh? What law is it? I don't know specifically. Oh, okay. I, I was just talking to the. I was just talking to the. Uh, the police. Security? I just did, and they said it was. It was against. It was not against yes. the law. Okay. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay. I'll, I'll be up there. I'm sure. Okay. I'll be up there here soon. Diabetes and nutrition. Not in public. So J Town Press said at the beginning of the video that this is a throwback. So what I'm assuming is that she's reposting to be able to double dip on that ad revenue. I don't know exactly how old this video is because everybody's wearing masks. But then again, this is a hospital. So it might be six months old, maybe a little bit more. I've never seen it. I'm sure a lot of you haven't seen it either. And it's going to be absolutely hilarious when she gets removed. But you have to be a really sick individual to fraud at the VA. I mean, this is a hospital for veteran. You know there's going to be a bunch of private information. People are sick. They're suffering. They're waiting to see the doctor. And here comes a frauditor who cares about nobody else but themselves. It's very disgusting. Uh, well, who pays the federal government? Taxpayers, right? That's right. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm hmm. Mask oh, mask? I'm sorry, I don't have one, so. I got one. I, I'm, I'm highly allergic to them. Okay. I've got a lower respiratory disorder and I cannot I wear one. I understand what you're saying, but yeah. the VA requires. Oh. Oh, is, so it, you might have to go is, it their, is it their policy or their it, law? It's their policy. Oh, it's not law, though, right? Well, that, the policy book is. If you, if you want to sit up here and, and go back and forth, there's the police, right? Huh? Okay. Right, right here, Rob. Ma'am. What's your, what's your name and badge number, by the way? Cat Manual. What, what's your name and badge number, sir? It is right here. You don't want to identify him? I'm Officer DeClude. Okay. ID number 3775. Thank you, sir. Good. How's it going? Good. And who can I speak to? And who am I speaking to? This is Captain Mandeville of the okay. VA Police. And what's your badge number? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, are you there? So, three and, nine, so yeah. five nine zero? Do you have a mask? I don't. Okay. Do you mind putting one on and we can talk? I do mind. Okay. Can you leave the building, please? What law am I breaking? You're supposed to have a mask on. Are you a is that Is that law or is that policy? It's policy by the VA. Okay. So, you have to follow policy, not me. You need to exit the building. Why is that? Because you're violating policy. Okay. Are you a veteran? Why does that matter? Because this is I'm a, a member the, of the public, so. This is a veteran facility. Okay. So what if I am? Are you here a visitor for a veteran? I, I'm, Do you have an appointment? Why does it matter? It's a hospital. Can you please exit the building? Okay. Is it funded by taxpayers? Uh, Ma'am, can you please exit the building? Okay. Are you asking me or are you telling me? I'm asking you to leave the building. Okay, well, I'm going to respect the decline. Okay, well, then if not, then we can put you in custody. I'll call JSO and then we'll go ahead and do so a you're trespass gonna arrest warning. Me if I, are you going to arrest Just me if I don't leave? Just do a trespass warning. I do it! Just do it! Seriously, officer, could you just handcuff her and that way nobody else has to waste any more time? Her voice is nauseating. The way how she speaks to everybody with such a condescending tone while she knows very well she's only there to harass is disgusting. Please handcuff her. I'm just asking you, are you going to arrest me if I don't leave? I will call JSO and you get a trespass warning. Okay. It's not an arrest. I'll just okay. detain you. Okay. So what law am I breaking? Ma'am, you're trespassing. Right I'm now. asking you what law am I breaking? You're trespassing. How? You're here and I'm supposed to be here. Is, this, is this a public building? No, it's no, not. It's, no, it's not. It's not. It's for veterans. And okay. if you're a visitor of a veteran or, or a, a family member, you could stay here and wait for them until they finish their appointment. If there's okay. no appointment. You need to move on. Well, how do you know I'm not? Because you just told me. I, I, I said, what if? Listen, have fun with your filming and doing all you're doing, but right now you're causing issues. Look, you have veterans well, here. You're the one who's People calling the servants. No. I walked in here and didn't say two mask. words. Everybody else here has a mask Why, because on. some policy says I'm supposed to? Because the Veteran Affairs has decided that because we're up. Do they uh, make laws? Ma'am, I'm exit asking the building. You. I'm asking you one more time. Exit the building or I'm calling JSO and they will trespass you can, out here. Can you, can you get an officer so I can talk to him? I'm the captain here. You don't need to say so you're not JSO? You can walk outside. Are you with JSO? Ma'am. I'm asking you. Are you JSO? Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, please don't touch me. Okay. Please, good. I'm, I'm just asking. No, no, I'm just making sure that you're uh, going to uh, okay. the building. I just want, don't want you to touch me. Okay. 
I, I, I just, now. I just now want to know what. My mask off. I just we'll want to know what. In the sun. That was what I'm trying to do. Okay. What's going on? Can I stand over here? Yeah. Just, okay. Well, now you're putting me in the sun. Wow. Can, That's a, can we stand here? Sure. Uh, yeah. What's going? What? I just want to talk to you and find out what law yeah. I'm breaking. That's it's all. It's not really a law, man. Okay. So this is the veterans. Are you a veteran? I'm why, a veteran. Why, why does it matter? It's not really doesn't matter, but this is a hospital. Is it? But is it open to the public? Is that no? No, it's not. Okay. So it's not. This is not funded by taxpayer dollars. That is such a stupid question. You're not able to go in a hospital and just lie down on the floor or sit on a chair all day just for fun, just to hang out there. So why would you be able to walk around with a camera? You go to a hospital if you have an appointment or you need to see a doctor and you go through the emergency. Like, what is wrong with her? The whole thing with frauditors is that they want to target people who are vulnerable. So sick people, the elderly, the young, and everybody they see that has a perceived vulnerability, that's who they're going to target. And it's truly vile. Dude, I don't know who funds it or who doesn't fund it's the it. Department I, it's the of government. Veteran. I would think that they and do And who it. pays the government? I guess our taxpayers. And it's taxpayer funded, so that means Man, it's public. Man, but the thing about it is... I, I'm, I'm trying to be polite with you, but I'm just I'm, saying... I'm being very I, polite. Okay, I'm just trying to... And I understand, to, but you're okay. not understanding what I'm saying. It does I, I it, do. It's like... So we're put here to do a job, okay? Well, our job is not to, to to answer questions. You're answering questions. Mm -hmm. um, and we told you, this is a veteran. This is a veteran's facility. Okay. If you're a family member of a veteran, we have them coming here all the time, and the veteran has an appointment, then they come in, they get taken care of. It's a hospital, I right? I understand that. As they get taken care of, they leave. Do you, okay? not like, do you not like government transparency? Is it you all trying to hide something? I'm just asking. Yeah, you're, well, you need to go up to like upper, like upper echelon. We're doing what we're told to do. Like Who's go up to, I don't know, go to but Washington. You're, but you're trying to enforce, I understand that. You're trying to enforce policy, though. Yeah, that, exactly. Like the laws on the, the street. Well, like, what, yeah. what, what's the law, though? The law on the street, whatever you decide to do. If you went to Walmart, you can do whatever you want to do there, you know? But, but I'm asking, what's the law saying that I can't be in there? It's a policy. It's it's a, not oh, a law. So, there, so there it is. I, I, it's a I kept policy. On it's a policy. But it, there's no law. I don't have to follow policy. You have to follow but, policy. But, you're no, employed. I didn't, is, I didn't You I didn't can't sign walk up to in be. here with no mask on because the policy. Policy. You see everybody else here, the veterans, the, the, the patients of veterans, the staff have masks on. I ask you, may put a mask on. You said, no, but I don't need to. I don't need to. But do you think that we, look, we're outside. I, I don't have a mask you're, on. You're employed here. Right. And, right? Right. So under your conditions of employment, you have to wear a mask. You know, the best thing that you can do is I can give you a number of a person that's uh, basically the public person that would talk to you. And they can tell you, every, answer all questions that you want to do about the VA. Mm -hmm. It's probably a lot easier than answering for me. I just think that's a safety issue. Okay. Because the policy is just so, so I'm, I'm just saying, so I can't be in there because of a safety issue. You should have a mask on. So, is that, that, is, that, is that the reason that you kicked me out? Yeah. Because it's I don't have a mask on. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's worse so, that one. So, you, so you're kicking me out of there not because it's not a public building because I don't want to wear a mask. No, and you're not a veteran. You're not here I, for anything. Why does it matter if I'm a veteran? What because, if I am? Okay. Why do I? Have, so why glad, do I have to sit there? Uh, let me get the public relations number. I'll get a public relations number for you, and I'll get back with you. Okay. I can't hear you. Uh, let me get you the number of the public relations out of Gainesville, and they can answer all the questions instead of us going round and round. I don't want to be rude. You don't want to be rude. Okay. You're well, trying to figure I'll, something I'll, out, and I'll, I'm trying to explain I'll, and not I'll understanding. I'll dig into it a little bit further. That's cool. But and if and if that what you're saying is is not is not is false, I should uh -huh. say. Sure. And then I'll be back. So. Oh, yeah. okay. right, we'll be right back. I'll be okay. right back. Okay. I don't want to stand by the garbage. I mean, what's the difference with standing by the garbage? You stand next to Georgia Transparency all the time, so I don't see how that would be a big deal. But that's besides the point. So she got removed from the VA hospital, and now it's time for a beautiful and epic walk of shame. What did you do? Why don't I? What, did I break a law? No. You ask me my name, I'm asking well, you your name. Well, you're a public servant, I'm not. Oh, but he's going to give you the public relationship phone number. And any, any if y'all came at have. me a different way, then I then I have no problem giving you my name. Well, I did approach you. I actually posted, man. You got it. Well, but you're, you're trying to me. force me out of here. You ignore For a policy. Okay. For you a policy. You, just, you know, officer walks to, uh, officer, it wasn't rude. I, I, I walked up to you, told you what I need, and you ignored me because of a policy so I'll, I'll dig into it a little bit more and if, there, if the policies if there's no law I didn't find one on the books but I'll definitely double check mm -hmm. and if there's not I'll definitely you'll see me again okay that's no, so, that's no problem I gotta put tires on mine like that I love it are you detaining me again no, what is it that you're trying to ask uh, okay why does it matter 
I, I told you what I am. I told you that I'm a, I'm an independent journalist. Is what I am. Doing my job. Uh, okay. I'm, do you see me doing anything? I'm walking. Are we not allowed to walk in America anymore? Oh, oh, that's what it is. Here, look. I'll get his license plate now. It, it, it's public information. But you're sitting there trying to violate my rights. I have a First Amendment right to sit there and record in public. End of story. Anybody can take pictures of my license plates. I can take pictures of theirs. I was actually admiring his Jeep. You're lucky it's hot outside or I would be walking around trying to stay in the shade. This is a gentleman named Philip Pitts. He's out of Gainesville. Mm -hmm. And he's our PR guy. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Have that a good is. day. You too. All right, well, thank you very much. Yeah, you're Have welcome. Good day. You're welcome. You'll see me again. Okay, cool. Oh, Thanks. Yeah. Do you have a card or anything? Uh, no, no. No, you have no. a card? No. Okay, I think so. Thank Thanks. You. Not for you. Oh, there's a thing illegal. I'm surprised they actually identified themselves. So there you have it. A frauditor gets a channel terminated and another frauditor gets removed from the VA hospital. As promised, it looks like 2024 is going to be a rough awakening for a lot of these frauditors and their channels. And hopefully the lens lickers are going to be able to wake up and snap out of the spell they were under and realize that their heroes are complete phonies. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know what you're waiting for, but I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here!